Hey everybody, I'm Gabby and this is RVs with Gabby. If you are into camping and traveling, if you love RV life too, RVs with Gabby is the right channel for you. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching my content. If you love my videos, please don't forget to hit that like button, that notification bell, and that subscribe button down below so you never miss another walk around video. Pardon me. Decided to start filming as I was walking back here because it is drizzling and before it starts pouring rain, I really wanna get this video out to you. We got our first brand new 2024 Twilights in and they've made some awesome changes. They have reduced their floor plan lineup to four floor plans, the most, the most popular ones, if I do say so myself. And I'm gonna show you, my favorite layout was the 2100 Twilight. I almost certainly have a video of the 2023 on my channel. So definitely, if you haven't seen that, check it out because you're gonna wanna see the awesome upgrades for the 24. Let's check it out. All right, so here is the brand new 2024 Twilight. This is the 21RB now is what they're calling it. It was previously the 2100 model. Overall, um, you haven't had a crazy change in layout or size. It's still gonna be about 25 feet in length. You can see you've got your spare tire in the rear. Uh, all tires are gonna be Goodyear on this one, which is really nice. You are prepped for the backup camera and they've also been prepping these things for about two years with the Lippert on the go ladder system. It's about $250 retail online if you go Go search that up front they have a little qr code that you can scan oh not up front where is it somewhere on this <laughs> over here by the door thank you over here by the door they do have like the sticker that gives you the qr code to go purchase that it is an add-on um and it's easily folded foldable up into the front pass-through storage so Goodyear tires, aluminum rims on the actual unit itself that spare looks like it's one of those um steel steel rims you have two 20 pound propane tanks up front. You've got the DuPont paint, partial paint for the front cap, nice and clean. That cap is a lot, um, just looks a lot sleeker than it did la last year. The past two years, it was more bubbly. Um, you have a little bit more lighting in the front, which is kind of nice. It just gives it a, a clean look. And you still have that rock guard and the pass-through storage is pretty phenomenal. It is a uh, plywood, right with aluminum frame construction and a fiberglass sidewall so it's going to be a laminated sidewall you can see the floors the bed base everything is plywood nice big pass-through storage here now i'm going to go to the other side keep in mind you have magnet latches and slam latches instead of twists and instead of clips so that is a nice upgrade thankfully they've come down in price a little bit which is great so you're looking at a little bit easier price point for the customer and consumer. Now in here, you are prepped for an inverter. They now have all twilight layouts are prepped for solar on the roof. So you have the controller already installed. It is pre-wired. If you want to order from the factory, you can get one 190 watt panel or you can get two 190 watt panels and an inverter already installed from the factory. Or we can do it for you here at Blue Compass of Orlando in Castleberry. I am off 436, about 30 minutes north of um, Orlando International Airport. You've got a solar disconnect here. Uh, this is prepped for tire link it looks like a one control tire pressure monitoring system if you want to hook it up there you have electric jacks on the twilight that's a big upgrade right nice big awning on the 21 rb i love it takes up basically the entire side of the camper the side that's important right the side you're going to be hanging out under and there's no slide out in the way there you are internet upgradable it has the wine guard 360 plus so you can get uh the 4g internet if you need it Coming down the line, outside speakers, nice big LED light strip there. And not frameless windows, but they are tinted. And so they do open for some cross breeze in there. Now, uh, fresh water fill is right there. It is a gas electric water heater, as you can see. In my last video, I said if it's a circle, it's on demand. If it is a square, it is the gas electric. Now, the on demand's only gas. So that's the benefit of this six gallon is it has gas or electric option you have the three step upgraded step above step oh sorry i just shook the camera a little bit it is adjustable it's nice and lightweight you can push put it into the door i do have an fmb friday video coming on those stairs nice big safety grab handle 
you have a three-year structural warranty and climate defense means that you have a heated enclosed underbelly capable of maintaining temperature and not freezing in the teens we're looking at weather that goes below 30 to 32 right that's freezing um but you have to have the heat on you have to have things running you can't just park it and and not have the heater turned on right otherwise it will freeze up um because it's a heated enclosed underbelly it has to be turned on leash tie here for your loved one your four-legged loved one you might want to bring along with you and then circling back around the back on the hookup side 30 amp connection for the 21 rb everything else above that is going to be 50 amp with prep for the second ac i believe is how we're gonna we're gonna make them standard these are a blue compass private label so you won't find the twilight anywhere but our 107 blue compass locations you have a black tank flush you have the city water connection right here and then you have the outside spray port it's a little tight because it just came from the factory but that's where you would hook up your little hose and be able to spray things down outside your dogs your kids yourself your bikes whatever you got now slide out is prepped for a slide topper up there you can see the rail it does not come with it standard from the factory this slide out system on this 21 rb is the rack and pinion it's an electric slide motor i do really like this slot this style of slide out excuse me um it is easy to work it is it has an override a manual override just in case you have any issues i'll show you where that is on the other side because um even some of my texts were not positive where that was located right here opposite of your electric your electric slide you'll have this little hole and you have that crank that comes with it it goes right in there and it you can crank the slide out closed if you need to comment down below if you want to see me do a video comparing the schwinn tech slides to the rack and pinion slides and kind of go over you know the reasons why you would want one or the other i think that would be a good video all right now i think we just let me shut off this ac I think we just sold this unit. There we go. I think we just sold this unit. So this one may no longer be available here, but this is the new and improved 2100, now called the 21RB. I'll give you a quick little walk before I go into detail about everything. Nice size closet that hasn't changed. The bathroom in the corner has not changed. You still have the porcelain foot flush toilet. That's part of the upgraded twilight package. You still have a nice radial shower there and then upgrade on the sink it looks like it's a little bigger this year but yeah overall great layout for two people i'm going to point out a couple things as we go through okay starting with the kitchen you have a solid surface countertop in the twilight that's a big deal at this price point you're not going to have a wrap you actually can prep on it use it get it dirty and wet and clean it up and you don't have to worry about it swelling okay so that's huge sink large Okay, farmhouse sink. I love this with the pull faucet. You have a window right here you can open. You have the vent with a microwave up above the stovetop in case you have to vent out. And these new cabinets are really nice. It, they've gotten rid of the wrap. And also they did change the glue, guys. So on the wood panels that are wrapped, because it's a, now it's a two-toned, um, you're not going to have the same issues they had in previous model years where like I'd walk into a new unit and like the trim was already peeling that was something that i was very frustrated with on my twilights it has so much potential such great floor plans and then they lacked those you know those easy things so now they've made that change it looks really nice and sharp if you're looking at like an alliance delta this would be a good comparison to it it seems like uh or you know your grand designs that kind of thing all right upgrade Woo! huge upgrade i saw this and i got way too excited um it's an air fryer oven how cool is that guys so you can actually air fry things in here, which let's be real, we're not baking anyway in there. So the air fryer is a much better option, a lot more usable when you're out camping. And people usually bring their air fryer. So now you don't have to, it's one less thing you have to bring. This countertop has changed. You still have the uh, storage below, but previous model year, they had like this extension bar top here that was higher up and it blocked off a lot of the space to get around the bed. They did not come with bar stools. You could have purchased them, but you just, this is a lot more space you can actually utilize, right? So I think um, thumbs up for that. That was a good job. Comment down below if you prefer the bar stools like this, or if for some reason you like that high bar top, let me know. 
The bed itself is a king bed that is one of the features on the twilight that's huge that everybody loves and it is a sliding bed so this is a system that they patented it's a really great great feature it basically if you want if it's unlocked you just move it over i hope i didn't mess up that bag over there but see how now it's moved over and then using my hand there's a handle now for 24 this is much easier than previous years y you would like grab it and try to make it work. But yeah, pull it right back over. You can push it against the other wall. Here's two things, okay? This is the same as last year. There's a pass-through storage, which they called a pet palace. You know, it's a nice space for your pets. You put uh, dog beds under there, things like that. They could hang out. But now, even better, people used to come up to this and they would try to lift it. And it was frustrating because if you lifted the old one, it would like mess up the whole system. Now they actually cut out, check it out. They cut out a little bit of space for storage. Now, of course, when customers first walk in here and they open this, they're gonna be like, Gabby, what is this useless storage bay? But I'll tell you right now, once they see what's underneath and then they see the fact that they can actually stick like little odds and ends in here. I mean, maybe you put your dog leashes, dog treats, maybe you put your socks in your underwear. Any spot you can use for storage is a big deal, right? You have some hanging closets to the left and the right. You have reading lights. You have little um, nooks for your nightstands, right? And you have outlets. Where are the outlets? Oh, there's a USB up attached to that light. Like it's on the light fixture itself. So you can charge your phones. You can put your water bottles up there. And then you have some storage up above. Let's see if they pass the... Okay. All right, so no gas struts. You do have to hold it up, but one big deep storage bay, that's nice. I promise guys, soon I'll get a third party um, videographer and I won't have to hold the camera myself anymore. Bear with me. <laughs> uh, windows are great, lots of light. I do like that the shades, for the most part, are all these like pull shades. They're really clean looking. It looks like you've got um, the accordion blinds in the bedroom for the two bedrooms. You have a different style blind for, yeah. So accordion style blinds for the bedrooms. And then you have those nice pull adjustable shades, blackouts in the living room. Oh, I didn't even turn on the lights and here we go. Let's check this out. Okay, option for theater seats here, but we're gonna stock it with this actual full trifold sofa because these kind of units, you don't have anywhere for people to sleep if you have the theater seats. What's nice is that you have this nice big couch. It's a new material. Almost feels like a, I want to say like a jean, but like more comfortable. Um, so it's like an actual fabric now instead of like a, a pleather or um, something similar to that. So full trifold sofa in case you bring one or two more people. What's nice is if you have the trifold sofa, all you got to do is buy an ottoman or a footstool and bring it with you. And you have a place under the bed to store that ottoman or footstool um, when you're traveling. So it is nice to have the couch. Of course, we can option it with the theater seats if you so choose. Little hideout here that has a USB plug, which is nice. And, you know, if you want to put your drinks in here, snacks, whatever. Nice seating for this big smart TV. Sansu, I don't know that brand, but it is on a swivel. So you can pull it out, you can turn it towards the bed while you're sleeping, you can watch TV. There's a curtain here for privacy if someone wants to sleep. And then you can turn the TV the other way. You have a sound bar and you have, uh, you know, it's, a, it's across the way. It's not cricking your neck and looking at the TV sideways. Fridge is a 12 volt. Everybody's doing the electric fridges now, nice and deep, nice and large. This hasn't changed since last model year but the colors for the nice deep pantry. I like that. It's a little bizarre how they only have the top and the bottom there, but I understand why. It's because they have this cut out around the corner. So uh, flush floor, they have done a great job with dropping the lip of this slide out floor a little bit. Some models like my Forest River Aurora, it's got a pretty big gap. Like you, even though it's a flush floor, because the material's not carpet, right? They, there's like a lip here. So this, if I bring the camera down low, you can see just how flush that truly is. So you won't be stubbing your toe, you won't be tripping. It is truly a nice flush floor with no carpet. So that is big. AC control here, you're gonna have a 15K AC with a heat pump, plenty of cooling and heating power for this unit. And then we already looked at the bathroom, but just one more time. 
nice light bright bathroom you have a skylight you have the vent fan with a cover uh looks like another accordion blind in the bathroom right but the window does open and let's not forget porcelain foot flush toilet now take a page out of matt's rv review book and say it's comfortable to sit but i don't have a place to put my toilet paper like there's no rack here so i guess in this case you're going to actually have to purchase something that stands near the toilet to hold the toilet paper. But it's not on the door. I know some people hate it when it's on the back of the door. It looks tacky, so that's good. And then your closet, once again, pretty big. I would buy something from the container store to make more utilization of this space. But yeah, um, I think the biggest things is the new colors, right? Uh, the upgraded exterior look to it, the lighting. Um, the king bed slide has always been one of my favorites on the twilight i'm just glad they made those changes to the actual interior to give it that more high quality look to the brand that really deserves that you know that gold star this is a this is a purchase that is not i don't want entry level but i don't want to spend sixty thousand dollars right so i think it's huge um i don't go over pricing in my videos i think it's not fair to the customer and consumer because depending on the model depending on the rebates depending on when it arrived here um it may or may not like be the same price as the one that i showed so i don't want to go over that stuff but contact me if you are interested in more information i can get you best pricing definitely want to start um rolling these out they are beautiful units and i think this is a great couples camper under that you know 25 26 foot range uh, extra wide door here. I forgot about this. I forgot about it because I don't know where the... So they have a sink cover, right? And one of the great things about Twilight is this sink cover is a cutting board. And when you pick it up and you hold it on either end, you can walk in and out of the door without, without turning. Um, it's an extra wide door compared to other models. And lastly, I will point out the radial ceiling gives you a little bit more interior height. And they did upgrade the moldings in the top corners, the rubber moldings now, so they're cleaner. They're not going to come down like the old wood, wood trim moldings would. And yeah, it's a beautiful unit. That's all I've got for today on the 21RB Twilight 2024 model. Thank you so much for watching my channel. If you love my content, please don't forget to show me some love down below. And until next time, happy camping.